Daily Bible Thought is continuing the theme from yesterday, and that's the theme to be maybe revealed on Friday. We'll see, but you may figure it out. So today is Acts chapter 4, verses 19 and 20. And these verses in context come right after a story where Peter and John were on their way to the temple and through the power of Jesus, a lame man was healed by them. And so they got arrested because this is after Jesus had died, was crucified, you know, was buried, rose from the dead, and after he ascended. Also, after they had received power from the Holy Spirit. And that's important to remember because Peter was afraid. Remember, Peter's the one who denied Christ three times. This does not sound like the same man. And that tells me something about who I am. So Acts 4, 19 and 20, they've been arrested and they're be, they've been rebuked. They've been told, you may not preach in the name of Jesus anymore. You can't do it. It's against our rule. And this is a Sanhedrin. This is the ruling body of Jewish church leaders who would be over Peter and John, or would have been. <laughs> but Peter and John replied, do you think God wants us to obey you rather than him? We cannot stop telling about everything we have seen and heard. They had seen too much. They had heard too much and they couldn't stop talking about it. And so I think, what have I seen God do? What have I heard from God? Am I in the same place that Peter and John were? Can I just not help it? I have to talk about him. And then I think about how changed Peter is in this situation compared to when he denied Christ three times. Am I that changed? And if I'm not, then I need to submit and surrender to the Holy Spirit and ask him for help. So we can all do that, guys. We can all reach out to God and ask him to dwell in us by his spirit and bring that power so that we would be the same. We'd be like, we can't help it. We have to talk about what we've seen and heard. So today, think about what you've seen God do. Think about what you've heard from him and share it with someone.